Alrighty. Hello, hello everybody. This is Kirusho here, and now. In the last part, we set up our part one. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't expect to make part two this fast, but let me just say, I thought about things a bit more, and I'm going to be honest. In the beginning, this series might come out fast, but it actually might slow down the more and more I started to dive into more One Piece stuff. Now, I got a few questions, so let me just clear a few things up. Now, Deku is not going to be the only person with the Devil Fruit in this series. I plan to bring in a few, possibly more than a handful, I won't say for certain, but I do know I do have some written down here. Second, Haki will exist. Because One Piece, it sort of doesn't make sense if some of the characters can't fight the others without one ability. And if it's just Devil Fruits, then I feel like that kind of impairs the series a little bit more. Number three, there are bounties. Number four, there is the world government. Now, let's explain that with a bit more world building now, shall we? In this world, there is a specific quirk to human ratio. In regular MHA, it is about, let's say, 80 to 20%. Here, let's about slice that a little bit more in half. So maybe let's say around 45 to 55% quirked and quirkless. Now, with that being said, the world has faced a lot of problems. Wherever quirks popped up, there was nearly a collapse of human society. And Devil Fruit just made that all worse. They eventually popped up in this world. And started to become myths and legends. The world government unified, and that has been quite a lot. Basically, there are no hero association buildings or, well, agencies. They're all unified under one banner. I hope that clears a lot of things up. Now, with that being said, let's pick up with Izuku in a brief little review. Izuku's father fucked up a delivery where he took his son with him. Deku acted a little stupid and ate the Pika Pika no Mi by accident. And his father was given a choice. Kill his own son and complete the delivery because his son ate the devil fruit by accident. Or go to All for One and tell him that he lost the fruit. Face the consequences of his actions and die for his son. And Deku, he did not want to leave his father. He saw a man die. And his father... He basically told Izuku that he's going to go away for a while with a friend of his, before Deku was dropped off by this lady. Now, Izuku was given a necklace, and the lady, she left him there. And with that being said, let us currently pick up with Izuku. Izuku, he is confused about quite a lot of things. He's scared, and he's worried. But... Most of all, he does still have the necklace. Izuku hasn't heard from his father in a long time. He's been here for months, and things have been weird. Apparently, he does have a gift, but it's so odd. Let him take his mind. Right now, him's not going to look down at his hand, watching as it is going to glow. And Deku, he does try to cut that out, try to stop it from happening. And he's just confused. There are certain things he doesn't mean to do. There are certain times where his abilities they activate, and he's kind of a bit confused by them. From what the doctors say, they don't understand his abilities that well. And the person here at this building, they're not really too sure. Izuku's been here for a while. And right now, Omen is from walking into the room. Deku, going to look up. As this one going to sit there, him hiding in the corner. Izuku, I'm, I'm here. Will you come out? I'm scared. What are you scared of, child? Um, my, my gift. I don't know what it does. And doctors don't know what it is. And I'm a bit afraid. Why? 
I, I don't know. I try and use these powers, but I don't know how. Now, I'm just going to walk over. I'm going to bend down and bring her hand up on Uzuku's head. Her going to express to him. Izuku doesn't need to understand. They're going to turn and look at the lady. Her, right now with a scar on her face and an eye patch. And Deku, he can tell. She used to be... Well, she still is a very pretty lady. But that scar... It's... me. It means that she was involved with something bad, right? Bad people have scars? Deku, he doesn't want to look back down. And he does want to shy away. The one trying to express to him. Izuku must be hungry, right? I I am. But I don't want to go out there. It's alright, child. Your gifts are nothing to be concerned about. Afraid of? There are many things you can do with it. Really? Yes. Though, if you are afraid of your gift... You will not properly harness it. How do you know that? Child, I know such things because I've seen it before. A few years ago, there was a boy here who was afraid of his abilities. He harmed someone, I know. And he was afraid of his own powers. Though, nowadays, he can actually handle them. Did he hurt you? No, child. Why would you ask that? Your... Your eye. Your scar? Don't bad people have scars? No, child. Good people have scars because they're trying to protect others. This is... A reminder. Her ring her hand up to her eye patch. And ring her fingers over the leather and feeling her face. She often doesn't like to think about it. She tries to keep it in the back of her mind. And Deku can see it. He also heard it. Child. Her something a lot more serious. And then Deku doesn't see that look in her eye. The same look his father had that night. You need to go eat. I, I understand. They're going to stand up. And walk out of the room. The woman's somewhat trying to at least encourage Zuku to... Try and be a bit more social. Deku, he's been shying away. And he's really been by himself. He's a smart and intelligent young boy. But he's just very scared. But why is he afraid? And that doesn't concern her. Izuku used to have nightmares. He talked about the clawed man. Whatever that meant. And... Then there's that sound he kept making. The way he described it. A gunshot. Though, it isn't too out of the ordinary. Then in her mind, her is going to think about the necklace she knows Deku has around his neck. That is a familiar seal. And that has been quite a lot of things. That necklace shows that Izuku has protection. And he is a part of a familia. Though it does concern her. The boy is being hidden. And while this place is a place of peace, it is also concerning to her. The boy's powers could definitely be useful. He just doesn't understand them yet. She's seen them. He can light up his hands and the heat produced. It's definitely powerful. He's destroyed doorknobs before, and that's definitely a problem, but there's also that other thing he's done before. Where he tries to run, and he just suddenly moves across the entire area. Just fast. Uh, faster than the eye can see. His power, his gift, it definitely is something interesting. And that does concern her. The boy could have a target on his back. Though... It also is a bit more intriguing. The boy is somebody who will be raised here. And she's quite intrigued to know what that means. Izuku, one day he may go out into the world. 
and discover what happened to Hisashi Midoriya. The man who died. The man who people heard carried something powerful. And that does concern her. The powerful thing he carried. No one knows what it was. It was a massacre from what she heard. Everybody who ever stepped foot into that restaurant that night, they all were found dead. The next night, they were all ripped apart. Shreds. That's all that was left. And it is actually a bit more terrifying to think about. The boy was basically the only survivor. And that's if she doesn't know anyone else. Hisashi Midoriya. What the fuck did he do? That in her mind. And Degu's gonna sit down with the other children. Him going to eat breakfast with them. And someone trying to go play. And Deku, he does he's try to think a bit more about his abilities. He's a bit more concerned about many of them. And that has been quite a lot. And Deku, people do try to at least make fun of him for his powers. Others could show off their own quirks. While Deku, he shows off his abilities. And that has been quite a lot. Deku's powers are seen as strange and just not that cool. But Deku, he actually wanted to try and learn more and more about them. Him looking down at his glowing hands and thinking about many things. And there actually was where a kid, they threw out their hand. They were going to blast out flames from their fist. And Deku, he saw that. Him actually still want to try and point up. Him trying to throw out his hand to see what he can do. And there actually was where a beam of light flew out of his hand. And Deku, he looked up. And his eyes widened. And everyone, they actually stared up at Izuku. And there actually was the woman who was outside. Her, right now, leaning against the building and turning her head. Her trying to watch the children. Making sure that they didn't do anything stupid with their powers. And she had the cigarette in her mouth. Her going to turn her head as she heard the flames bellow. And then Deku, he blasted out a massive ray of light. And she actually dropped her cigarette. It flung out of her mouth, as she actually is not going to turn, her fully facing that. For Deku, he's going to bring his hands down and look at them, them still pulling with energy. And Deku's alarmed. It's so weird. And all the kids someone started to cheer for Izuku. They thought his hands just glue, his eyes glowed, and that was it. I mean, he, he's basically just a human flashlight, right? But no, he actually has cool powers. And there's that thing he can do. The sudden move thing. I mean, it's kind of funny. Deku, he always falls over doing it. And that's where people, they do actually find it to be very hilarious. Deku, he was always seen as clumsy. They always try to play. And whenever he tried to run, he always either did use that power... Or he just was able to run regularly. Trying to gain a handle over it was what was the problem for Izuku. But as time started to go by, things felt easier. And Izuku, he started to understand a bit more about these powers. It took a few months, but he started to understand a few things. He can move in a straight line whenever he turns into a flash, a burst of light. But stopping and, well, you know, moving around, he can stop. But moving around like that is not possible. And Deku, he finds it to be very strange. Along with that, he also discovers one other thing. He can kind of fly. And that was definitely a, not a really a fun lesson to learn. Especially whenever an admiral had to bring Deku back home. And that meant quite a lot. Now, Deku... He was quite alarmed by a few things, and some people, they were actually getting a bit more intrigued by a few things. Deku, one day, he was found whenever someone saw his family necklace, and that said quite a bit. It was quite intriguing. And Deku, whenever people tried to approach him, there was or somebody they actually stepped in. And this person, they revealed themselves. 
and the men, they went bolting away. As the person is going to at least walk up and bend down. Then we're going to talk to Izuku. Hi, Izuku. Do you remember me? I don't think so. I was the person your dad said I had to look after you. Oh, I do remember you. <laughs> Good. Listen, a lot of things are happening, okay? And I don't think that you're safe right now where you are. Safe? What? Izuku, I need you to come with me, okay? Afterwards, I'll explain a few things. Listen, um, you gotta understand. There's been a lot happening, and we need to move you. Now. But, uh, but, but what about the place? What about... Izuku, I'm sorry. I... Hmm. Okay, I know you sound upset, but... Izuku, your father told me to keep you safe. Where is my dad? We're going to fall silent. And Degu does stir up at her. Before there is a bit of realization in his mind. The expression in her face. The sadness. The... The look on... No. That... That's just... She... She wants to... His dad... His dad had the same look whenever his mom died. I was all going to turn, and try to bolt away. However, there is the one who is going to throw out her hand. However, Deku does immediately going to turn in the light and zoom right by. A lot of people are a bit more alarmed, since right now a flash of light is going to fly past them. So a little bit more alarmed. It was bright, and right now it is going to somewhat disorient a few people. Deku is going to move fast, and they're actually going to start to slow down. Deku is going to slow down, and going to try and come to a full stop. Him going back to running normally and trying to slow down more and more. For Deku is going to find himself going to turn his head. And there actually is a vehicle in the road. Deku watching it barrel right at him. As Deku is going to try and do one thing. He goes to move up. And Deku, the moment he has to move directly straight up, it is a bit more alarming. The person trying to run through and try and find Deku. As clearly there is with Deku, he's flying straight up into the air. And he is trying to at least try and do a few things. There's a lot going through Deku's mind, and he's panicking. And Deku, he actually does start to fall. Whenever he tried to stop and go back down, he didn't know how to stop. He didn't know how to turn, and that was an issue. And Deku, he was a lot more alarmed, especially when he started falling from the sky and screaming out. And Izuku, he tried to look around. He didn't know what to do. He knows that his body turns into light. He, he knows that. He just, he turns bright. He turns, and this, this is scary. Then on his mind. And Deku, he does have a lot with his mind. His dad and mom are dead. He's an orphan. And, and they're gone. And Deku does not look up. I'm going to see his necklace. As Deku, he does not look back down. I'm going to turn his body into light and zoom down towards the building. And Izuku, Whenever he does start to look down, he actually sort of bounces off a window, the light smashing onto the ground as Deku, he actually has someone to lay there for a second. Him going to try and sit back up and look around. As someone they do go to run over. Deku, after he rolled out of the street, he smashed onto the sidewalk. And someone they ran over to try and check on him. Is Zuku going to somewhat sit up and feel weird? Ow. The person coming to run up. Asking, Izuku, hmm? uh, ha, what, what? Okay, Izuku, I'm gonna bend down. You need to stay calm, okay? But, my dad. The person isn't gonna turn, and ask, who is she? I'm the boy's guardian. Are you serious? Young man, do you know this lady? I, I do. Listen, this isn't any of your concern. And he might... He's hurt. He needs to go to a hospital. I'm going to take him to a doctor right now, okay? 
Listen, he doesn't have control of his abilities. Are you serious? You never taught him how to control his abilities? All right, listen, you fucker. I'm going to turn. I don't know Express. He doesn't know anything about the situation. So how about he backs off? And the person's going to bring up their hand. Expressing. Why don't they want to hold up some ice? You know, they're not a person to be trifled with. For the ladies, at least pull a gun. I'm going to hold it directly to the man's throat. I'm going to pull back the hammer. Listen, asshole. Hey, 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 hey. Right. Now, what were you saying? I'm... I, I didn't say nothing. Good. Now that you run along, all right? I gotta help this kid. He's been through a lot. I'm gonna actually pull back the hammer, squeezing the trigger a little bit, and gonna lower it back down. The person's gonna turn and bolt away. After another answer, he's gonna lower the hammer all the way down, and I'm gonna put it back into her waistband. Izuku goes out and stare at her. She has a gun. A freaking gun! And the one is gonna walk over. We're gonna bend on a pick with Zuko. Okay, a little scuffed up, but how did you land? I I don't know, but I. I'm just someone gonna point, and the lady is gonna turn. We're gonna see the window. Wait, a light bounces off windows. They're gonna be hearing that out loud, and Deku he does look to look around. Really? But how does that work? Wait. Wait a minute. He can only move in a straight line. But windows. They ref reflect singe, right? So so that means... They're going to have a click. They can bounce off reflective surfaces. And that does mean quite a lot. And right now, Izuku, he is taken away by the lady. And she does try to explain a few things. Yes, Izuku's mother and father are both dead. Izuku's father died because he was attacked the night she took him. And his father didn't want Izuku to be involved with that. She's not going to lie. We're not them going to get into the car. We're going to take Deku to a doctor that she knows. Someone that she can trust. She tries to explain the whole situation. Izuku's father was involved with some very bad people. And right now, some of those people might be trying to track him down. Trying to find him. But she can't really know. She's not trying to take any precautions. Her are not going to stop at the light. Going to turn her head. I express to Izuku. There are some bad people who are after him. If they aren't the ones she's thinking about, then there are definitely others. Though, she doesn't want him to know. She didn't want him to be pulled into this life. Hasashi didn't either. Though it might have been inevitable. But Izuku, he has a very powerful gift. From what she understands, he definitely has a powerful gift. What do you mean? Listen, Izuku, I don't fully understand, but... You remember that night you told me about... The weird fruit? Yeah, I, I do. Okay. That was a devil fruit. You know how you... Well... The woman taking care of you... She said that you don't like baths. And you don't like trying to swim during the summer. Yeah, I... I can't swim. Izuku, you can't swim because you ate that fruit. You'll never be able to. Why? I don't really know. But people are after that fruit. And that means that they're after you. And we can't really trust a lot of people. There are some people we can trust and some that we can't. Do you understand? I, I do. Good. I'm going to try and take you somewhere else safe. And then, after that has happened, I'll try and help you out, okay? Teach you how to defend yourself. Listen, I've heard things about that fruit. And if it's what I think it was, you're going to be in a lot of danger. Am I? 
Yes. It was, is, powerful. I, I still don't understand. You'll understand one day, Izuku. Trust me. I'm just, I'm trying to keep a promise I made. To who? Right now, Deku going to hear a horn. He's not going to jump as the not going to turn around. Her going to speed off as the light is going to turn yellow. And the person is going to speed off behind her. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part. Now, as I've explained before, if you guys are still here, the first couple parts of this might come out fast, but then it might slow down. So again, I'm mentioning that in case I did not mention that in the beginning. Hope you guys enjoyed.